Basically, I'm just taking pictures and narrating over the top so you can see the books clearly. And I have so many books, so as soon as the titles are done, I'm getting on with it. Straight away. I hope you all enjoy this bookcase tour. By the way, sorry for the black lines at the edge of each picture, it's just like that I'm guessing, so you're just going to have to cope. But if we get on with the actual books, the first book is The Power of Six by Pitticus Law, then The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, The Caribbean by The National Geographic, The Hunger Games Companion by Louis H. Gresh, Divergent by Veronica Roth, Death Note Black Edition Volume 1 by Taika Shiabata, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Leverthon, The World of the Hunger Games by Scholastic Press, The Hunger Games Tribute Guide by Scholastic press. Then I have Bleach Volumes 1 to 6 and these are in two separate bind-ups of 3 and ones, which are just great, you know, it's a great offer and they're by T. Kubo. And then the little book on the end which I'm not sure if you can necessarily see is The Lord of the Flies by William Golding. And then on this next section we have the first book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien and that is The Fellowship of the Ring. Then we have some Redwall books. Redwall, Matimio, Martin the Warrior, The Long Patrol, The Bellmaker, Outcast of Redwall. I just absolutely absolutely love them and they're by Brian Jakes. Then Emperor of the Field of Swords by Connie Gwildon. The Loop by Nicholas Evans. Collins English Dictionary by obviously Collins and Oxford Mini School Dictionary and Thesaurus. So this shelf is basically the best shelf on my shelf and it is the Warriors shelf and all the Warriors books by Erin Hunter and she is quite simply the best writer ever. She is just so good. Her books are amazing. It is a pen name author of four authors and they're just all great so you know definitely the best books ever. Ever. So the first four are field guides and I have Battles of the Clans, Code of the Clans, Cats of the Clans and Secrets of the Clans. Then we have four super editions, Blue Star's Prophecy, Crooked Star's Promise, Sky Clan's Destiny and Fire Star's Quest. Then right at the top, I'm not sure if you can see very well, is the French edition of Into the Wild. Then we have some mangas. I have all the Grey Stripe mangas and then The Rise of Scourge. Underneath all them, I have the original series, which is by far the best series. Into the Wild, Fire and Ice, Forest of Secrets, Rising Storm, a Dangerous Path, The Darkest Hour. Moving along, I then have the next two series. I firstly have the New Prophecy series, which is probably, in my opinion, the least exciting for me. I think there's a lot of sort of journeying and stuff in there, making it not as good, but it's still really good like all the books. So we have Midnight, Moonrise, Dawn, Starlight, Twilight and Sunset. Then is The Power of Free, which I did enjoy. The Sight, Dark River, Outcast, Eclipse, Long Shadows and Sunrise. I thought that the last two books in The Power of Free series, Long Shadows and Sunrise, were just fabulous you know, I love them so much. I thought Long Shadows was ever so dramatic. It was just great. Then to unfortunately end my amazing Warriors shelf, we have the final series, which is called Omen of the Stars. In my opinion, it's probably the second best series after the first original series. So there is The Fourth Apprentice, Fading Echoes, Night Whispers, Sign of the Moon, The Forgotten Warrior, and The Last Hope. And now we start the Stacks books area. So the first book is Lord Lost by Darren Shan. Then we have some Gone books by Michael Grant, Gone Hunger and Lies. Then if we go to to the bottom we have some Skullduggery Pleasant books by Derek Landy, Skullduggery Pleasant, Playing With Fire, The Faceless Ones, Dark Days, Mortal Coil and Deathbringer. Then moving along a bit I have some Time Riders books, Time Riders, Day of the Predator, Doomsday Code and The Eternal War, all by Alex Scarrow. And then Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and I'm actually going to be meeting Cassandra Clare on the 29th of this month and I just can't wait, I'm actually going with George from this channel so that is just going to be great. We're both going to have such a great time. If we go to the top, we have some Hunger Games books, of course, by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games, The Hunger Games again, but just with a different cover, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. And this next area of the shelf is also very nice. So if we start right at the top, I have Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Then I have some books by David Clement Davis. I have Firebringer, The Sight and Fell. Then if we keep at the top, the little tiny book up there is Hatchco Waits by Leslie and Newman. Then I have The Chronicles of Ancient Darkness by Michelle Paver. I don't have the last book, but you know, I've got all the others. Wolf Brother, Spirit Walker, Soul Eater, Outcast and Oathbreaker. Then if we go right to the bottom at the other side, I have some more Hunger Games books, which are the original covers which I got. So obviously there is the Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. Then I have some Inheritance Cycle books, and like with the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness, I don't yet have the final book. But the ones I have are Aragon, Eldest and Brisinga. Then I have The Eagle of the Night by Rosemary Sutcliffe. And then the first four books in The Medusa Project by Sophie McKenzie. The Setup, The Hostage, The Rescue and Hunted. And finally, the three books in the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness, The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask 
and the Answer and Monsters of Men. And now moving down to the next shelf, the first few books I have are Changeling and Changeling Dark Moon by Steve Fiercy, then Invisible City by M.G. Harris, Spanish Dictionary and Grammar, Holes by Lewis Thatcher, and then a Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, of course, as you'll already know, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, The Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, The Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and The Deathly Hallows. Then, if we move along a little bit, I have Watership Down by Richard Adams, Wolf's Angel by M.D. Lachlan, Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, Artemis Fowl by Owen Colfer, Running on the Cracks by Julian Donaldson, and Wilderness by Roddy Doyle. Then right at the top, Sky Wolves by Livy Mitchell, I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Law, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, and then Give a Dog a Home, How to Make Your Rescue Dog a Happy Dog by Graham Sims. By the way, I'm sorry that picture's quite blurry. I'm kind of assuming that my hand was just a bit shaky at the time, and I didn't actually realise when it showed me after I'd taken it on the camera that it was quite blurry. I'm really sorry about that. And the next picture isn't actually that good either, actually. A bit of the bottom is cut off, but it doesn't really sort of impact on what you see anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if we start right at the top, I have the first three books in a Cherub series by Robert Muchamore, and I have The Recruit, Class A and Maximum Security, Eon Rise of the Dragon Eye by Alison Goodman, War Horse by Michael Morpurgo, Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk, Oxford Paperback for Saurus, Silverfin by Charlie Hickson, Ravensgate, Evil Star and Night Rise, all by Anthony Horowitz, Lion Boy by Zizou Corda, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Easy Learning French Verb by Collins, French Dictionary and Grammar by Collins, The Secret Passage by Nina Borden, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, The London Eye Mystery by Shawn Dowd, and Tunnels by Gordon and Williams. And these next books are basically just boring school revision books, so let's just move straight on away from these. And then some DVDs and PC games, so I have stuff like Dancing on Ice Tour, The Sims Free Pets, other Sims 3 games, Zoo Tycoon 2, a load of random DVDs like Planet Earth and Aragon and stuff like that, basically just loads of DVDs. And then moving on to another completely different bookcase altogether, I just here have loads of different hardback books which don't fit anywhere else. They're obviously very heavy and I just basically stored them there because I don't really look at them or use them anymore really. Like stuff like the Bible and stuff, I'm an atheist so I'm never going to be really using that or anything. Generally I just don't really read these so that's why they're sort of piled up and stuff like that. I do look at a few things like how things work and Guinness World Records and stuff but that is about it so generally I just stack all my hardback books right there. To be more precise hardback non-fiction books but you know. And then here are some Wii games, some DS games and some PlayStation games as well as a little elephant ornament statue kind of thing there as well which is kind of cool. I'm not going to go through all of them because simply this is a bookcase tour I don't want it to be too long so. Then on this next shelf I just sort of place sort of like random books in there like the Jungle Book and stuff and then I also have my Kindle on there which is still in the box and then I think it's a New Zealand statue or something and then a statue of some otters. Sorry you can't see these books here very well it doesn't really matter though I'm not really going to go through them they're just sort of children's books that I had when I was younger and I decided to keep them because I really enjoyed them. Basically the reason why I can't get any closer is because my piano is in the way. I also have a little blue stone kind of thing which is really nice. And then here at the bottom I just have my ukulele and then I have some folders and in one of them folders it's a dedicated Warriors folder. Basically in there I have a letter that I was sent from Erin Hunter and it has her signature everything in, the personal letter she sent me and just really cool stuff like that and then the other is just random stuff. I also have an Erin guide right down there which is quite big to be honest which is why I keep it there but it's so so good. It's really informative and it has great pictures in there. Finally look at my beautiful Hunger Games posters which I absolutely adore and I guess that's generally just about everything. So that was my bookcase tour. I know it was pretty short to be honest, but that's just how it is, I'm guessing. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope everything was concise and compact. Don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments below and I'll see you all again next week.